you talk a lot about economic democracy. One form that that's taking in some people's work lives these days are new structures of work, including worker co-ops, uh, where workers own an interest in the company itself. You two, both of you, recently went on a delegation to the world's largest cooperative network, um, the Mondragon Company in the Basque region of Spain. What was your takeaway from that trip? For me, the big takeaway was the need for us in this country to really build this movement for economic democracy. I think we have siloed ourselves as movements for too long. Workers' rights over here, broader economic justice over here, democracy over here. And really what we need is to weave these different movements together in a much more powerful way and with a real you know, cohesive narrative. Like, Everyday um, people should be able to place themselves in the story of the economy today and understand where they have power to make change and, and really flip the, the narrative that we can in fact have a better life. And so let's, what's our vision for that and how do we get there?